These are my most frequently asked questions about Chung. How long do they last? Well, in Korea, they keep these for like months, sometimes even years. I've seen people keep them in the fridge. I've seen people keep them in the pantries. I've yet to find out exactly why. I suspect it's to stop it from fermenting too much. But when we go back to Korea, we'll find out. Can I use other types of sugar or sugar alternatives? You can use other types of sugar, like brown sugar. It will change the flavor. As for sugar alternatives, I haven't tried it yet, so I have no idea, but hopefully soon we can try it out. What do I use them in? So these are basically syrups. So you can use these any way you would use syrup. I've used them in cocktails. I've used them in just regular drinks. I've used them in cooking to sweeten up dishes. Most often I used to use them in the morning when I would eat my yogurt and granola to sweeten it up a bit and add a bit of like fruitiness to it too. But yeah, any way you would use honey, maple syrup or anything like that, you can use these. Can I use dried or frozen fruit? You can't use dried fruit because you need the moisture of the fresh fruit for the sugar to draw out. As for frozen fruit, I don't know, I haven't tried it, but I don't imagine it's ideal. How do these not go bad? Well, relative to the amount of sugar that we use, the amount of water that's in these syrups is quite low. It actually creates an environment that's really difficult for things to like grow in. So that kind of keeps it from going bad. A lot of people always ask me if you can make chang out of like this thing or that thing or this fruit. What I have to say is like, if I haven't made a video on it, I haven't tried it, so I don't know. And I'm doing these experimentally. I'm finding out if things work at the same time as I make these videos. So I suggest if you are curious, just go and try it. And because that's what I do. It's just that I make videos about it. 